Felipe's Garage. Felipe? Felipe? Felipe's Garage. Felipe's Garage. So please give it up for Felipe. Hey, yo. First of all. First of all. We back, y'all. We back. It almost feels like we never left, y'all. <laughs> Watching this on YouTube, you understand what you we're understand saying. what we do. We're Felipe's Garage at Felipe's Garage on what? IG. IG. G. What's our website, man? Just tell Felipe's Garage dot com. Damn. I mean, talk about branding, bro. We got it down. It's not like Felipe's Garage Inc. or like at Felipe's underscore Garage two sixteen. Fuck all that shit, dude. No, no, no. Fuck all that shit. What's our email address, bro? Felipe's Garage at Gmail dot com. We ain't fucking around. You could almost guess and get it right. Yeah, have we checked that email recently? I be checking it all the time. We got beats. Shout out to all the producers who've been giving us beats and, yeah. and we putting them in the episodes. You'll be. I don't know which. Dude's gonna be on this episode yet, but you will know when the episode comes do out. Do or do we, that. We we tagging you. We got my man Jay Smo was the first one. He got tagged. He got shouted out. He even got a follow back from freaking Felipe. Matter of fact, we follow this, this motherfucker wasn't even following us. Hold up. I followed him and it's it, it said a few days later it said Jay Schmo. Jay or Jay, uh, Thanks for following us, Jay. Jedi Schmo followed back. Thanks, <laughs> I was thanks, like, bro. damn, bro. But thanks. full respect, bro. So thanks to all the producers who gave us beats. Beats. They threw beats, them in the mix. Beats. Beats. We Do doing we that, man. Remember? So if, if there's any more producers out there that holler at us, man, and we'll let you know how it gets down, bro. Criminal minded. You have been blinded. Beats. Beats. Rocking. Beats. 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 Remember. I like Remember. Hey, let me just say, man, Mona Lisa's a great DJ, man. Wow. She burnt God that set. damn, bro. I almost, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I know we talked about this show you did last week, but I'm bringing it up again because, to be honest, I almost didn't want you to go on. Yeah, I know. I kind of wanted, she was like, no mistakes allowed, bro. Talk about move the crowd every song. And she, it's like, you just know Mona Lisa you just know who she is. You see her. She looks like somebody's mom. She, But in a beautiful way, not in a disrespectful oh, way. She, she like, was, so you know her, and woman. then you hear what she plays, and it matches perfect. Mona Lisa 7872. She's wonderful. On wonderful woman. Instagram. I love you, Mona Lisa. One of the best DJs in L.A. So fantastic, bro. And she's an L.A. legend. 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 She's been... At every key moment in L.A. in the past, what, 20 years, 30 years? Yeah. She's there, yeah. always. Yep, she, yep. You know what? She's everywhere. You ain't never, never there. Never there. You ain't never there. Mona Lisa is everywhere. You ain't never, never there. there. Mona Lisa, could I have a date for Friday? I wish, You're bro. busy. But it takes Saturday. So you know what? She's not taking Saturday because she's somewhere DJing. Yes. That's what's happening. You can't take her out on a date. Damn, trying to date a DJ has to be hard. Have you ever dated a DJ? Nah, man. I dated a well, DJ Well, there was this once. one guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> well, if you're into that. Hey, whatever I've been waiting into. for that. You know, I want to welcome you with open arms whenever you're ready to tell those Whenever stories. I'm ready. No bro, I think I already here. came out, bro. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's all good, man. Yeah, no, I dated a DJ. It's fun to date a DJ. Yeah. yeah, the DJ is fun. Yeah, she was dope. She was, it was, yeah, that was fun. Got your record spun more, huh? No, she didn't spin hip hop. Yo, she spun the shit out of my record, oh boy. You don't even you, know. No, can't even talk she, about that. She spun my twelve Woo! inch though, bro. Oh! Kazinga, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Kazinga. Ladies, take a break. Fellas, you know. Buzzinger. <laughs> Can we get it correct? Good God. Buzzinger. Oh Lord. <laughs> Bazooka. Oh god. oh god Anyway Nice lady Yo I remember like uh, We tried to get a girl DJ um, She was a dope DJ Full respect But like Just had the idea Like as a gimmick See if that would get us over Didn't Didn't do much for us man No We thought it would be like It wasn't cool, about inclusion Or equality Or helping women get You know get It was about all of that But no, we also had a thought that gimmick right That there. That there is a gimmick in there for us too, and it failed us terribly. It I'm didn't all, fail us; it just was no different. I always wanted to have a female hype man, or at least a female dancer. But I don't think my wife is going for either at this point. But. At this point, yeah, it gets a little dodgy. Like, oh, she's going on tour too. Oh no, she's not, motherfucker. Are you going to have separate rooms? <laughs> but I always tell that story with the fucking dude on Melrose, man. He told me, "You ever been on Melrose when they had like the Persian dudes 
the owner. They're trying to sell suits. Suits are like tight, like there's like Forever 21, but they're shallow. Like, how do you afford? Like, they just sell all spandex shit. Yeah, and the yeah. mannequins have ass. Like, <laughs> one of my homeboys brought that up. One, like, that mannequin has ass. Like, who says that? And he said, No, look. And I was like, You're, you're like, damn, right. That mannequin's. But packing. then the girls that worked there were like Iranian or whatever. Right. Persian girls with ass. And I was like, and I just, one day I was smoking cigarettes with one of the owners because I was like a badass Melrose kid. Yeah. And I was like, yo, like, ooh, how do you not fuck all these girls? He's like, I do. Brother, you fuck at the business, you fuck at the business. Mm, he dropped that knowledge on me. I never right forgot off top. that. So he's like, so brother, I don't fuck this, I fuck the mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you fuck at the business. Do you see this ass? I fuck the mannequins. I fuck that mannequin too. Yeah, man. But yeah, so I, I would never if I had a female hype man, hype woman. How about you just put like ten mannequins on stage? See how that goes. That's some fucking cookbook shit. I would do Boy it. Boy Scout uniforms out, and severed hands and mannequins. Hey, yo, I was at the Fox Hills Mall the other day, bro, and there was these, this one store got these mannequins. They just like everything is perfect, anatomically perfect, right? Then you get to the head, and all it is is a fucking like spike. No, like from the neck, no head, just a fucking spike, bro. My kids got a little scared and disturbed, man. I was, what I, store I is this? I feel it. Oh, some fucking Fox Hills Mall shit, bro. It's not called. It's called. It's Culver City, no, Westfield. No, fuck so. all of that shit. You talking right now? This is L.A. That's fucking Fox Hills Mall, fool. Okay. Forever and a Fox day. Fox Hills Mall. Even my kids, they don't call it. You're Westfield. teaching your kids the wrong thing. I'm teaching them the right thing. Oh God. Fuck that. If I heard my kid call him fucking Westfield, I'll smack him in his fucking face, bro. Don't you dare <laughs> cave say Cave his chest, in. I'll cave his chest. I'll punch him in his chest, bro. Dead in his I'll chest. I'll punch him dead in his chest. <laughs> let's start. Let's start. Is, I got a story that's going on, and then we can go back and forth hoping this. Because we talked about the great outcast last last episode. We did. Another Man, it feels, great like, group. it feels like we just did that, too. Yeah. It's so crazy. Tribe Called Quest. Come with it. Stories that come up with Tribe Called Quest. Okay. What you got? So, I... I First, now, oh, and I was talking about last episode too. How you always get to reference your lyrics, so this is me get to reference my lyrics. Please do. Best night ever for a young nineteen or sixteen year old, nineteen ninety three. Yep. Best tour, almost one of the best tours I've been to. The performances were oh, good. Oh shit! I think I know where you're going with this. The Palace. Yes. Tribe Called Quest. Wait, we went. I think we went together. No. I don't know. We might all gone. I don't know. Yeah. De La Soul. Yes. Dude. Souls of Mischief. Souls of Mischief. Yes. Ooh. We did go to this shit, bro. How did we get in? First of all, but I don't even care. Yes, I remember that. That was incredible. I might. I don't know if I got tickets because I know I. I used to work for Jive. I used to do street team for BMG. Woo. Yo, I'm that 14, was, 15 years old. That was the dopest shit ever. And yo, we had a a Puerto Rican girl that went to our school. Mm. Bad. Of course. I think this is a running theme. You talk shit, but the truth is. I have a theory, bro. I think everybody secretly wants to be Puerto Rican. Okay, I, don't I know believe it. About that. I believe it. I don't know. I do. About that. I might want to be Mexican, mm. but not Puerto Rican. You do. Then Brazilian, then Dominican, no. then maybe Haitian. I think you're just Puerto Rican is definitely up, my top ten. It's like you're, Ethiopian, you're you're pushing it down, like the inner Ethiopian, South African, push them in and British, keep, push it down. The real truth. Man. Yeah, it's like okay. nine or ten. It's okay. You don't have to admit Egyptian. it now. You'll get there. Eventually, you'll get there. You'll be able to admit Hawaiian, it. Hawaiian, Tom. Anyway, so Samoan. we went to, to Tribe Called Quest with a badass Puerto saying, Rican girl. Aboriginal. There's like beautiful a lot Puerto of Ricans. Twice in a week. He's no, like, I know. You know. I know that this girl's gonna be there. I want to impress her because she. We're like the only like high school kids there. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. I'm like, yo. Oh and, my god! And I remember like, this show. She knows about Souls of Mischief. I know about Souls of Mischief. I'm like, it's it's good. We're meant to be together. It's my That's fucking it. soulmate. Put that on soul. Are your souls mate? Souls of Mischief. It was your souls mate. mate. My souls mate. That's your souls mate, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, it never happened. But uh, but that show happened. But that show happened. It was Damn, dope bro. as shit. And. uh I went home, whatever. Years passed. The Puerto Rican girl. Next, no, it's next year. Yeah. And then, uh, fucking, rocket like that. When he first light came out, the first single from, um, from Souls of Mission's second album. No oh Man's yeah, Land. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, on West Coast, we were waiting for Souls of Mission's next album. We were, like, and we were a little disappointed. Yeah, so but when I heard Rocket like that, I wasn't because the first yeah, yeah, first the first, first lyric is first of all for your pussy. First of don't all, don't take it personal. Oh. oh! First of all, first of all, for you pussies, 
Don't take it personal. SOM is versatile. That is irreversible. And OPO was one of my favorite, favorite rappers. Me too. I was like, so she told me she taped it because we heard it on Wake Up Show. They played it. Oh, nice. And I went to school and the Puerto Rican girl told me she taped it. I was like, can I come to your house to get this? To listen to it. At that point, I can honestly tell you that I don't know if I was more excited about being able to go to her house or, or actually getting hearing the, the song. Getting or getting that song. Or getting dubbing the, dub. the song. You was trying to get a dub? I was trying to get the dub. You was trying to get that dub. At that dub. point, I haven't given up. You were up. trying to get that love. You were trying to get, get that, that dub. I just wanted the music. I knew this girl was too fine for me, out of my league. So what happened? I got the number. Back Ooh, then, this is big. I got, got to go to her house. Number. And because I played, I think because I played it cool and just got the dub, like, uh-huh. This is before This is like 94 Before 95, 94 Before yeah. friend zoning Was a thing I'm thinking yeah, yeah. Okay Even though I've been Getting friend zoned My whole life zone, There was bro. no There's no name for it But I've been getting Friend zoned my whole life I still was a virgin I was like Yo I got this girl's Number yeah. Kept it on ice mm. And you know what And maybe we had Already graduated And she was home for I think she went to New York for school Of course Respect. And uh, I think she might have gave me her New York. I don't you know if it was Mecca? her number or New- Puerto Rican Mecca. <laughs> Yo, I don't. So I don't know when it was in her timeline, but one day I came home. My nigga was good with the beeping in the back. He's fucking with my life. Sorry, right, man. Just ignore it. I'm gonna ignore okay. this guy. He's disrespecting me. Until we need him to Google, we just pretend like yeah, he's he not don't here, exist. Bro. Or we might back talk to, to my him. story. So anyway. I'm, I'm lit. So yo, this is part my mom might deny, but this is like. There's a whole nother story. Yeah, but yeah. There was a time where my mother told me, all you have to do is graduate from school. I don't care how you do it. Uh-huh. We can go into that later. I finagled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I graduated with a .545 GPA. 0.545, but I Ooh, still walked the shit. stage. That's another story. I thought story. you were saying it was a .45. I was like, what? No. But a 0.545 GPA. You remember it very clearly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because my mom won't let me forget so she said, well, since you graduated, you can move back in, but you have to pay rent. She Respect. gave me her walk-in closet as a room for $175 a month. That's rough. In 1995. I could literally stand up and touch both walls. Damn. At a futon. You couldn't op- lay down and open the door at the same time. <laughs> this was my room. I had a Respect. phone. I had a TV. That's all in that little all little closet. thing. I had a window I could climb out to smoke weed and cigarettes on the roof, and they come back in. <laughs> and well, I, that was essential. I could come and go as I please, no real curfew, because I was right. paying rent for this fucking uninhabitable room, but inhabitable. Yeah. Yo, came home one night, got a call. It was the Puerto Rican girl. Get out of here. Hello. Hi. This is. Was like I'm just, just, yeah, you're like uh, 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 yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah, can you do me a favor and tell your little? I don't think you or whoever's playing on my fucking phone to stop playing on my fucking phone. I said what? what? I said who fuck? I was like no nobody got. Is it was your number? Do you have a brother name? Blah blah blah. I was like yeah. Hung up in my face. Ah. Oh. Man, bro. I look and the numbers out. I had saved the number. I looked at the numbers out. Him and his, my brother, my little brother, his friend. My, this, at this point, my little brother's bigger than me. Right. He's a good 200 pounds. Your little brother six picked foot, me up. Yeah. As a full grown man the other day. Yeah. He was, he was on his way to that. Just saying. <laughs> That's a big I, if I was If I was 17, he was 14, 13, and he was, his shoe size went to his age. 13. So he's third size 13, so he's, 13 a lar- he's a large six, child Six from 250 yes. pounds maybe Been lifting weight since the third grade <laughs> Huge individual He's very large I lose it he Just went off on him Took flight on it Bop Oh shit Boo 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 Rumble in the room Like over this girl was, who Was, was he never coming back get... on you too? Oh he picked me up Threw me across the room Ooh. Over the bed So he was down for his wall. too then Yeah Boom, boom. The house is rocking. We're on the, on the oh, top shit. floor. This is my mom's first night um, of my stepfather's, my soon-to-be stepfather, second stepfather, spending the night. Oh, man. Dude, the boom, 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 rock, cuz downstairs like, oh, shit. shit. What'd I get myself into? Shit. So it's all, hey, cuz, boom, 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 like, boom, boom, boom. My mom comes upstairs. 
What the fuck is going on? You two, cut this mess out. I don't know. My mom's favorite line is, I don't believe this shit. <laughs> Nicholas, Nathaniel, and she's, no, 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 she's holding us back. And I, I'm still so hot. I still haven't got any pussy. You have to realize. <laughs> I've been lusting over this girl for two years. Since the Tribe Caught Quest show in 1993. Fuck, I reach man. over my mom and hit my brother in the face again. Whoop! Oh, shit. But I grazed my mom. Oh, all the way oh. oh, nah, nah. <laughs> Bro. I don't care what house you That bro. shit ain't going. Bro. You motherfuckers want to hit me? You want to hit me? Oh, <laughs> so me and my brother yeah. both like, mom. And then she's both hands. I've never seen anyone do this in my life. Both fists balled up. Bop, 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 bop. Like, a, like, a, like, oh, back then, like fist of the North Star. This only. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she it. fucking e Honda, you guys, bro. My stepfather did not move. He was like, I'm good. Yeah, he said, it's a family matter. I was like, bro, you couldn't like yet. get involved. He's like, I as ain't in the family goes, yet. She's, oh, you motherfuckers want to hit me? <laughs> Yo, me. Yeah. All started at the night of the tribe show when I foolishly thought. So I referenced. So him. he was crank calling her. Yeah, yeah playing yeah, on yeah, her yeah. fucking phone. Playing around. All right. So what? So happened? so that that's on my song on um, whiskey and Patron on my new album. When I say yeah yeah, we we'll take it back to ninety three at the past. So we were seeing tribe. This Puerto Rican girl. She tried to g me. Now oh, I know yeah. she's jealous when she see me on the TV. Oh yeah 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 yeah. She yeah. Don't it. But I was like, she probably still don't give a fuck. Hey, yo, but what? that wasn't about her. I just com- I always combine two different stories to make them not true. But it was that tribe show that night started my fascination with that girl. She was kind to me. I maybe could have got in there. I still believe it, but it probably is not true. Just believe it. Just believe it. But it caused the biggest you fight me well. and my brother have had. Ever. Not ever, but it was, it was it pretty epic. It it's in sense. our top three. But you know, the, the interesting thing I find about that is your mom. Because, like, I have. Yo, hold on, my nigga. Yeah. Like, first of all, first, first of, of all, all, the interesting thing I found about that. It's, it's your mom. mom. I your like mom. when could punch you in the I face like right mom. now. So, honestly, <laughs> no, your mom was punching y'all in the face. You ain't, go, you ain't gonna just glaze hey, over that, bro. Your mom was punching you on the face, right? Okay, so, that's so, a better way to put it. So, what's up with your mom, though? <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing, y'all. No, but, like, I was just gonna say, like, <laughs> like I always, I always fuck with my parents, right? Like, jokes and little practical shit and do shit to get on their nerves. But especially my mom, because, like, my dad would just fuck me up. But my mom... <laughs> She would, like, try to tolerate it. Like, son, stop it. But, like, she's not going to go right to violence or, like, knock me out or slap me three times slay without stopping and shit like that, right? (laughs) She wasn't going to do that shit, right? But this one day I was probably, like, I don't know, like, 17 or some shit. And I was fucking around. And my friends are there. So, you know, you're trying to put on in front of your friends and shit. So I'm, like, fucking with her, fucking with her. And um, she's like, I swear to God, Jason, if you don't stop, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> and I don't believe that shit. She, she's oh, like, if my dad says it to me, I'm like, yeah, nah. And I was like, I stop, right? But my mom is like. Because you're sexist. Whatever. No, it's just. You're sexist. She, okay. So here we go again. Here we go. No, no, no. Okay. Because, well, the truth is, is that I don't know what the word for it is, but like, I, I think less of women than men. <laughs> Threw me off my whole game. I can't even play the sexist game. All right. So. No, but no, it's just because she never did nothing before, right? So I'm like, whatever. I start fucking around. I think I was messing her hair up or whatever. And she's like, all Wait, right. You're telling me your mom's here? Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. was it. Bro. After that guitar solo, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna die. After that hair mess shuffle. <laughs> Yo, she's just straight. I don't even see it. I didn't even see it coming. You know, I'm left handed because she's left handed. I got that shit from her. A left, like a just a left hook. Out of nowhere, my dude, I I just remember like opening my eyes on the ground and all the homies laugh like dying laughing. Wait, bro. your friends were there? They were there. That's why and I was going mom, extra. Man. That's why I was putting on so extra. So she said, Don't do it again. Don't you, do it again, or I'm gonna it, knock you out. And you did it again? And she just bop. You were like playing her hair like yeah, she like, was a little with her like and saying little... jokes and shit and like trying to like get on her nerves. This was I was your... just, it was like I was on her last nerve, basically. And she was she told me with you're on my last fist? nerve. Yes. Not to the up. jaw, bro. Straight out. I was on the ground, bro. I, I didn't even know how I got there. She was like, I told you that I was gonna knock you out. And all the they were dying, bro. They That's what's like, gonna happen to Joe Rogan when I see him, bro. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell him, I told you. Yo. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna tell him, bro. 
He's not gonna know. You told me what? Who are you? I don't even know you. Exactly. You me out, bro. Why'd you hit me? I'm a good man. I just want to live. Dana White's gonna be dying laughing. But you, hey, you, you, you should knock Dana White out before you knock. I'm gonna point to him and say, "You're next." I'm like, "What are you? You're I'm next." I'm like, "What are you laughing at, Baldy?" You're gonna fuck up the surprise because the only way you're getting the first Baldy Joe Rogan is by surprise. That's what I'm saying. Like then your if you mom point at Dana, you, you But if you point at Dana White and say you're next, that motherfucker's waiting for you. I'm He's not gonna. Ready. I'm not gonna knock him out. It's Dana White. You know, all he needs is a threat. He'll oh, he gets up. more respect. Yeah, Dana White. Even though he voted for Trump. Hey, but Joe Rogan didn't vote for Trump. Why you? Why don't you respect him? Because he works for somebody who did. You Take probably do too. You don't know who all voted for Trump. You never know. You get booked for a gig for some promoter. That's very true. It's paying you some good money. You're like, damn, true. the show went off. It was hot. And he was like, yeah, bro, praise Trump. And you're Maga. like, fuck. <laughs> praise oh, Trump. Shit. Is that how it goes? This motherfucker's a Trump follower, yo. I'm just saying, the and way Jason, what is Mrs. Soto? Yeah. The way the great Mrs. Soto laid one she Jason laid Soto out, out bro. is how I'm going to do Trump. Is your mom is still with us? Yeah, she's still with us. I feel like and that I need fist to study. is still with I us to, too. I, she is the fist of the North Star. She is. She's I it, need bro. to talk to your mother. She'll tell you how to do it. She'll tell you exactly how she that, did it. No, that's also want to talk about skits. One of my favorite skits is KMD. Oh, what is it like from the first album? Oh, when they what? got that like how to talk yeah. English record yeah. and they kept your mother likes to visit, visit the, the old churches, churches bro. <laughs> Oh, I know he didn't just talk about my mother. I know he didn't just uh, Should I get this man? Should I get this man? Those shoes are old. Oh, these is clogs. <laughs> they are also dirty. <laughs> oh, my God. Mechanics, do yourself a favor and go listen to the first KMD, KMD album. album. It's called Mr. Hood. Oh, man. You probably will think the music is kind of whack if you're not a 90s, not hip-hop, a 90s fan. hip-hop fan. Maybe not, it but them skits, dated. bro. Them skits Man. are incredible, he said, he said, bro. What do you say? You need to brush your teeth. You need to brush your teeth. What? Tooth- toothpaste? Toothbrush? Like, <laughs> oh, man. But your mother visits the, the old, old churches, churches bro. Yo, that's hilarious. I know we didn't just talk about my mother. And it fits so perfect because they, that was like the height of like 5% in hip hop. Yeah. So they were on that God shit, that yeah. 120 yeah. tough. And so that well, te- was yeah, to find te- that line. Yeah, te- yeah. Technically, it was another, but we won't talk about. It. What's that? Technically, KMD was Ansar Allah, which is my my sect. Okay, or was respect, my sect. respect. But that five percent because that's what respect. the nitty gritty was about on the album. Uh huh. Because KMD it's the nitty and gritty. yeah, it's the oh yo, the, the Ansar Allah community with the five percent. Yeah, I remember. So they were two separate. That. Oh, you're right. It was a unity. You're right. Thing. Yeah, that's right. Because that was Grand Puba saying yeah. like on that song saying yeah. that shit. You're right. For respect, so that's that's Clarence what it is. 13x. No disrespect respect. to you, no, yeah. Everybody, man. but yeah, man. That's like anyway. That's a great. Miss Soda, Miss Soda, gonna have to teach me that. that she person. will, man. Give me the joke, jo- jo- She told me that, that that my sister tried to test her like that too, and she knocked her ass out before too. <laughs> She's she doing all. She's, she's two, against her own around. offspring. She'd be fucking shit up. Bro. I feel like I feel like she made you guys in the womb with a salt, like a button. She like knows where that button is on your jaw. She does, bro. She just knows that night night. She's button, been, you know? been you want to go that, night night? She she's knows been that. Massaging one. your jaw since you were a child, making it soft she's at that getting point. Getting ready. Yeah. So, so she ever ready. had to push in case of emergency? Push button. Tap here. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Good night. She said my sister did the same thing. Like she was. My sister's not a clown like me, but she just like. Got older, so she's like, I'm a woman too. Like, and so she, some, like, it was more like beef tension type shit. You know, like, yeah. mother daughter, when yeah. they get to that age where they start fighting, like, arguing and shit. And my mom was like, I'm not the one. And my mom's so sweet. She's so, like, literally, she's like mother nature. Like, she's so beautiful. Everyone loves her. She's like, oh, she's so calm voice and shit. But on the low, and not so much on the low to us as her children, she don't play that shit. No. She does not play that shit, bro. Two and zero, two and zero, bro. And, oh and, I, and I don't even know if there's a story about my brother. I should ask. Nobody, nobody is undefeated in the streets. Is what the great Blueprint once told me. Uh, and he has great albums out. Two Headed Monsters. I'll go check out Blueprint if you don't listen. Blueprint, to, and yeah. Blueprint's amazing. He has a dope movie, dope producer, amazing label. Has a, he has a podcast called Super Duty Tough Work. Awesome. That's dope. it. One night, and I and I don't know. It's always my white friends that like to do this shit. Uh huh. Cause I guess in the hood you're not allowed to think like that, but I had um, two of my rap friends do that, 
I got into a fight with a rapper. I forgot to tell you. I got in a fight with a, a pretty well-known rapper one night. Like a fist fight, a real fight. I was about to. Okay. And I looked at Eli and Grouch, and I was like, yo, if you ever been down for me in your life, when this nigga come back over here, I'm taking off. No questions <laughs> asked. Because he's coming. Because he was the other dude was over there talking to his homies. Uh-huh. And I'll say his homies were, were, were part of another. Like, these were famous rappers. Oh shit! And it was like okay, like I was like, all right. I was like, when you come back over here, I like, I was like, guys, I'm not. Eli's like, oh no, Eli, I, Eli Grouch were like, yo, Grouch like, I got my wife in the car, I gotta go, bro. I was like, so you're not down for? Me. I looked if you said, all so right, you're not. So down I, like, I started pacing. I'm like, all right, this is it. Yep. And then it always usually happens that God is with me. So <laughs> one of my other rap homies, um, Chase, was there. Uh-huh. He chased from Self Scientific. Oh yeah, yeah. He slowed full it down. Respect. And then when we get him on the show, I'll let him tell the full story. But he yeah. he got in between us is like, you don't want it with this little dude. Like he's he's way more serious than you think he is right now. You think it's yeah, a game. Yeah. This because that's what yeah, I was yeah. telling the story last night or the other night at the show. Like I was like, I would go to rap function. And I would have a burner on me because I had to go home. Right. Not because yeah. I'm trying to shoot a rapper. It's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. yo, I'm gonna be but out till one in the morning. But it's there. But I would usually go put it up, ditch it in the bushes, because I don't want to fuck you up, get arrested with a gun, because I'm not going to use a gun on a rapper. Like, y'all niggas, y'all play. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm the conscious rapper that you don't know really has to go back home yeah, yeah, to yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah no and doubt. then when I get back there, I need to be protected for some whole other shit that has nothing to do with hip hop. So I was like, yo, like, but I wasn't going to shoot this dude. I was like, I'm going to knock this dude out, though. Yeah. And he was bigger than me. He was like, swole up. And I was like, gotta go. Because I grew up. Fighting my little brother. <laughs> yeah, so you had training. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not train- never scared I'm of a big dude. This. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, all right. Yo, get in the car. Dude's like, I get I had to ride home with Grouchy Eli and they were like, yo, sorry, man. And Eli's like, did you see how big that dude is? I was like, I don't give a fuck, cuz. They're like, like, but we do. Yeah, and was, <laughs> we do. So we were on tour you see how on Atmosphere I God. Am? We were on God, God Loves Ugly tour. Uh-huh. And uh Someone tried to do that. We got in a fight in some city or got into it. Uh-huh. And you're like, this guy, you wouldn't have done anything. This guy knows. This, fuck it. This guy knows jujitsu. He knows blah, Karate, blah, blah. Karate. Yeah, blah, whatever. blah, blah. You see how big he was? And then Blooper goes, who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah, Nobody's yeah. undefeated in the streets. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. That's the real, that's the real shit since MC yo, Ren, yo. I fell out yo, in the van. Like, I was all the, nobody's you know, undefeated that little spot in the streets. Between the door and the seat, in the, I crawled into that spot. Hey, yo, honestly, though, you know who might be undefeated in the streets? My mom. Your mom. That's My what I'm mom, saying. Bro. She's the first person. She's the first one, yo. And the streets have been talking. <laughs> Mrs. Soto is undefeated yo. in the motherfucking streets. Respect. Yo. Hey, yo, I don't have no, like, I tour with LA Symphony, man. I don't have a lot of stories like that. But what we did have was J Beats. Oh, I love J Beats, man. Me too, man. And J Beats. Act like is, a wrestling match and put the pin down. Come on, man. Dope. One of the dopest one liners I heard that year. Double, still. double entendre shit, you need yo. To act like you just won a wrestling match and put the pin down. Bend sound frequencies frequent. Come on, I know. bro. Known to be the nicest, precise with the mic. If you think differently, you just don't like it. You might get left, left just like, like the, the hand, hand that, that I, I write, write with. with. Left like the hand that I write with, but yep. he writes with his left hand, but right and left. Yep. And he put his right hand up in the video, by the way. All next level shit, but that's not even the. And part. he's a producer. And he's a producer. His name one is of the Beats, dopest not rappers. Rhymes. One of the dopest rappers and one of the realest on the low gangsters that. Oh like, yeah. No fucking around, Long Beach style. So let me oh, tell you this yeah. story. Oh, let's get Here's it. Here's a tour story. Let's get it. We were we were in the hood of Chicago, doing a show on the streets. Like they they was like uh, they set up a stage on the streets, like for the community to come. Yada yada yada. So, of course, shit, as things happen, things happen in the streets, right? So, we we finished the show. There was a lot of, um, there was a lot of, like, kids around the van. We were getting ready to bounce. And then some shit started popping off with some kid, like, and some other dudes that were, like, a little bit away from the van. So, there was, like, OGs, like, older dudes, like, late 40s and 50s that were also kind of, like, they were, like, the security or, like, they were kind of just watching out for the show. They were in this group of kids around our van. And this kid comes busting through and he just dives in our van. 
right? And and uh, and we're like, yo, what the hell? What's going on? Like, why are you in here, right? And um, <laughs> and then the 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 older dudes were saying like, hey, you don't. No, he at first he was saying like, hey, let me get in the van, let me get in the van, and like the older the OGs from the neighborhood were like, hey, don't let this little fool get in your van, like no. But we like, I don't know. He got it. He got in the van basically. And my man Jay Beat said he. I just remember him. He was like sitting in one of the seats in the van, and like as the kid was coming into the van, this fool just leaned back forward with the forearm. He just put the forearm in his chest. You know, you know <laughs> he did like this. Nah, nigga, you need to bounce. And he pushed him back out into the crowd, and the dude just took off on him. Right. Just then, homies were coming up the street with the strap. And uh, the OGs were like, you guys need to leave right now. So Uno Mas was driving. He peels off. We have no idea what happened, but but we ended up coming back like not that that long after. And the whole thing was diffused anyway, so it was all good, like whatever. But um, JB's was like, he just, he has the, the street eyes. You know what I mean? He has the street, like nobody, we was like, ha, 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 in the companion. This fool was like. That fool got the strap. That like he literally knew at the whole I do that lay with of the my wife all the time. Exactly. She's like, how do you know that? No, he knew. He said, like, okay, but check this out, man. I'm telling you, my man Pigeon John, like, he has some fucking flashbacks or some shit of getting punked when he was a kid, or like. So we drive away, dude. I'm not, and this is 2000, 2001, like prime Christian rapper dude's time, right? We pull off. He's like. I can't believe y'all niggas. And we're like, what? Like, John is like about to cry. He's so mad. He's like, man, what the fuck? Are we pussies or what? Why didn't we help that kid? What the fuck? And we was looking at him like, and like me and Uno, like we knew, we know enough like to know shit was popping off. Like we didn't see the strap like Jay Beats did, but we knew like, we can't let this fool on our, our van. And so like he started screaming and then like Uno was like, hey man, you need to calm down, man. You, this, you don't, we don't, this is not our hood, bro. We don't know this shit, bro. We cannot fuck around around here. Like, we're going to fuck around and get shot or whatever. He's like, no, nah, fuck that. You're a pussy. He told Uno Masis, bro. <laughs> and I, don't know, I think I brought, I mentioned this on the podcast before. Like, you know you're in trouble when Uno Mas comes out with the pinky. pinky. Yeah, the pinky. So this motherfucker was driving, left hand on the wheel, turns around while driving, Pigeon was sitting like right behind him in that first van, seeing the van, and he goes, "Let me tell you something, motherfucker." And points with that pinky, like, "Don't you ever say talk." Or he's like, "Don't you ever fucking talk to me that way." And like, Uno is not that dude. He's no, so mellow. Yeah. So like, John was like, <laughs> "Just sat all quiet." <laughs> he sucked it in. He's like, he "Oh shit, it in. yeah, yeah." And B twice was trying to jump on the bandwagon. He was like, "Yeah, we should have helped him. We should have helped." And like, they both just was like, "Nah." Like once Uno Mas goes there, so then JB tells us, they go, Yeah, man, this dude was across the street. I seen him pull the strap out and put his jacket over the strap and start walking towards our van. That's why I was like, Nah, nigga, you need to bounce. And he pushed him out the van. He's like, I'm not, what are we getting shot up for a kid we don't even know? What if that, we don't know why that kid's in, you don't know. This is not our hood. And that's what me and Uno Mas were trying to say too. But these dudes, I swear to God, Pigeon was having flashbacks. It's like flashbacks. some shit, yes. Because the way he was acting was like it was happening to him. Like but he was my, that my kid. Thing, like, like he was that kid. Have you ever kid. seen someone have a flashback? Like this is why I grew up with rappers especially. Niggas act like they're yeah. crazy. But like, because you're not crazy. Because when shit really. I've seen. I've not, I have yet to see no. a certified crazy rapper. He was throwing yeah, that yeah. tantrum because he felt guilty. And now he feels like he can no, do No, no, I know. But, but I mean like a, but a there's flashback not, of like it's him getting punked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's like it's not. But like yeah, yeah. he wasn't going real crazy. Because if he was going crazy Uno saying that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He would have kept him. going. With somebody, he, he just popped off and was like, "Oh shit, I might have, uh, I might have misspoken yeah, like, here." I think, I, always, I think I should pull it back. I think I should. Like, you pull know, it a crazy back. motherfucker. And there's not too many crazy motherfuckers. Motherfuckers like to act crazy. Yeah. When shit gets real, cra- when the mother, when the pinky comes out. Oh man, motherfuckers the pinky suck that shit. comes out, bro. <laughs> yeah, and all, everybody else, like it was me, Uno, Pigeon, B, and Beats, but like Flynn, Joey, everybody else was just quiet. Like we, we gonna. We just gonna yeah. trust that we should have left, and we're not saying nothing. Plus, Uno's pinky just means e- everyone could get it, it, it all also, at once. <laughs> I could have. I'm like, around. you want me to drive you back there? Yeah, go, you guys go save him. 
But this man? <laughs> yeah, this man ain't saving him. <laughs> Y'all too? You can save him. Go ahead. Go, man. Yeah, you, you want to fight with him? Go ahead. Yeah. But that's the thing, bro. Like, going in the cities, like, um, that wasn't the first time I went to Chicago. But you go in other people, you go in the other neighborhoods, you, you gotta, re- you have to respect the rules. Because, like, you can't treat other other cities like you your own. Like, I, I know L- LA. I think LA is the perfect city. I always, when I went to other neighborhoods, I always felt like top of the food chain. Yeah. Because I'm like, people here, LA, you can get fucked up for nothing. <laughs> Usually they're like, they were, the dudes in Chicago weren't going to involve you. Yeah, yeah. Unless you were involved. Yeah, of course. LA like, niggas like to just do shit like, fuck with niggas. Like, I've never seen anything like it. I've been <laughs> to every hood, Third yeah, Ward, yeah. Houston, like, Ninth Ward, New Orleans. Like, if it's not about money or you didn't fuck their bitch and you don't got on no flashy shit, niggas ain't. F- yeah, yeah, LA, yeah. But, hey, what's up, cuz? Why you got that funny ass purple shirt on, my nigga? Like, um, niggas like that where you from? We wear shirts, man. Like, yeah. what the fuck, yo? Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all Christian rappers? Nigga, fuck Jesus. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, like, we fucking you up. My mom's at church right now. Yeah. Fuck Jesus. Yeah, like, like, damn, yo. Like, yeah, like, really? I've only seen that in LA. Dude. I'm like, yeah. why would you do that shit, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, but, but you know, so, I, so you, yeah, yeah. so I know how yeah. to behave. Because I'm on. That's why I said I don't feel like That's I can beat everybody point. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My sensitivity of not offending anyone is on like a high level. Hell, well, yeah, I, I, I know that. How to like just cool, dude. Yeah, I remember. And take a lot of like I'll, you could say a lot of shit to me. As long as you put your hands on me, you could say a lot of shit to me. Yeah, yeah. Because like the only when LA niggas do that, they're only doing that when they know they have the upper hand. When yeah, they know yeah. they got ten dudes with them ready to jump, or they got a burner, and they gonna you know yeah, they yeah, want yeah. you to say something. So I'm like. <sighs> I'm like I'm condi- I get like a sit-in at, in like Martin Luther King. Meditate. Like you can pour the milkshake on me. You can call me a lot of niggers. Like as long as you don't touch me, pour a milkshake. Yeah, I'm like I'll just sit there and take it. So like yeah, oh dude yeah, that yeah. dude's got he has to get shot. I don't care. Uh, hey, it's not. I mean, it's not me. Not my. Not yeah. my. My mother lost it. Not my monkey. Not my circus. Hey man, you have to though. You have to respect. I remember jumping out the the. Fir- as a matter of fact, Chicago again. The first time. The first time we went there, I jumped out and I used to always wear my hat cock like this. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh the, no. I, it was don't like do, some don't you do that. Chicago Puerto Ricans too. So they already knew the Puerto Rican from LA Symphony was coming. So they were hype. Like yeah, they saw me get out the car. They were like, oh my nigga. They just moved me <laughs> like this. And I was like, what? They're like, because, you know, we're colors. You know, yeah, red, yeah, blue, yeah, yeah. or like you can recognize if that's a cholo or like whatever. You know not. To. They're like, no, 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 not here. Don't wear it left, not right, nothing. You straight wear it straight. Head. And I was like, why? Like, they will fuck you up on these. these This particular street right here, they will fuck you up. And I was like, no. Hey, respect, man. Like you just have to learn. Yeah. Like so, you walk in as straight edge as you can, in until you, until you know the rules and you know where you can be loose and where you can't. You can't fuck around, man. And that's what like what was happening there. Like, why would you, John Pigeon John? You you did live in Inglewood. You did live in some parts. You should know. Like, why would you just let some random kid that you don't know? You well, don't he know didn't. why. He, he might... just wanted to act like it with you guys. I think so. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. I got guys in my group like that. Man, we some pussies. Yeah, when we leave, <laughs> what the fuck? Man, shut your bitch ass <laughs> up. <laughs> the fuck you talking about it for now, my nigga? Like, come on, bro. You wasn't talking that funny style man, shit. Man, that happened on a Def Jux tour with me, bro. I was like, man, we were in Philly. Niggas was talking mad shit. And like, I know. Yeah. And Philly is real as fuck. But it was like Crenshaw. I was like, oh, shit, it's like Crenshaw out here. I said that uh-huh. like. To somebody The merch guy or something Somebody yeah. was like This Philly nigga Blah 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 I was like cuz But I know where I'm yeah, at So yeah, I was yeah. like alright But I got Respect. gang of niggas in yeah, the yeah, van yeah. I was like cool alright You think you do <laughs> And I was I think that was the night After Cage put the fucking Shit on somebody Like Threw a beat of nigga with a bike Or some shit <laughs> Oh shit and, and the homies was with him So I was like I got homies that I know her down there So like the homie Camus And Metro from SA Smash was They'll in the car. go They'll go Yo, I was like, I was like, hey, my nigga, I was like, this nigga out here talking shit. I'm about to fuck this nigga up. Y'all niggas come with me right quick. I wasn't asking niggas to swing for me. I was just like, yo, I'm just about be to, there. Because he there. might have more support. Yeah, more I'm about support. to take one. I, I'm like, I want to go back because I love that. Like, now, what was it you were saying? <laughs> yeah, again? Yeah, like, go ahead. And then, and then as soon as you form your mouth to say that shit again, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in the van, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. And then. Tour manager, the dude that was headlining tour, I'm not gonna say nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another Respect. rapper. 
We don't need to be involved with that. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the dude I am. So they had to grab me, hold me in the van while they drove off. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, fuck it. Y'all ain't coming. Like, it was the opposite van. Like, there's people the out the van. They pulled but, you into the van. But he was that guy. And then, like, you know, oh, I wish I would have been there. Those guys, man. Yeah. That was, oh, come on, John. I know he he got over real quick, man. When we we got we went to eat after that, and he got out the he got out the um oh oh my I'll tell you right now he got out the car and he was like yeah man I just I just get emotional sometimes man I'm I'm sorry man I'm sorry oh, okay then that night we went to to record a song with uh, with uh, um, some dudes from Chicago they were like yo we got beats whatever and they had their studio upstairs and um, so we recorded our verses right and then. We're like, hey, we need a hook for this shit, right? Oh, shit. And um, John's like, hey, I think I got something, man. I'm going to go upstairs. I'll, I'll let you guys hear it afterwards, right? And uh, and uh, uh, he it, he went. we went up there, and he was like, uh, <laughs> it's like you push play. So the Joey's rapping, blah, 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 and here comes the hook. And this this was the hook, literally. 2001, Christian time, this fool said. It, it comes on, he goes, a lot of motherfuckers try to diss, but niggas don't know how we do this. Get out the van, my nigga. Get out the van. What? Get out the van, my nigga. Get out the van. What? 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 Dude, he started dying laughing, yo. He put it right in the song that night, dude. A lot of motherfuckers try to diss, yo. I'm just like, what? <gasps> Was he joking? Of course. Oh, man. That, that song ended up on our... Our our uh, we did a mixtape in 2007 called Unleashed, but it was like the clean we cleaned up that hook. So it was like a lot of other brothers tried to diss, but they don't know how we do this. You know, it's like, but it's on there. Get out the van. That's why it's called Get Out the Van because yo, J Beats. Let, what's the- yo, my nigga, get out the van. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a song called Get Out the Van. So what was the who was the DJ? This D, Christian DJ had a Christian mixtape. Christian DJ had a Christian mixtape, but uh, DJ Mad, DJ, DJ Mad, yeah, 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 yo, what was the pigeon John LA Symphony? Golden Motorcycle? He did a song. I got on a there. gold motorcycle. Oh no, on the first one at the LA Symphony song bring was called our, Bring Back, back Our City. Bomb. Woo! Tell you, I'm a real fan. Bring Back Our City was dope, and Gold Motorcycle was dope. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't as much of a fan of Gold Motorcycle, but this this song right here, that's Get Out the Van. I honestly think Get Out the Van is the best representation of LA Symphony. Get out the van. Because it's we're guy. all we all kill the lyrics and it has that funny like LA Symph vibe to it. It's a great song. It's my it's probably the best representation. Okay. That's good. But Arsenio is us shitting on the Christian industry and having disdain for it. Uh, like we like they wanted us on that Christian mixtape. Yeah. And they sent us a shitty beat. Full respect. DJ Match is a very nice guy. If he listens, no disrespect. We're talking about something that happened in whatever, 2000, whatever year that was. And we we also were pretty arrogant back then. So we're like, Psh. So we, I mean, dude, the end of the song, we're singing, singing like a choir. Angels, come down from heaven. Lift us from hell. Bring back our sin, yo. What the fuck, bro? It was so abstract and so dope to me. Uh, we, I love it. I'll listen to it now and be like, that shit's crazy. But the beat is not tight. And the CD was tight. dope. Do you the like CD, the whole one? No, no. I like the packaging. Oh, it, was, I it had the I no limit know. packaging where it was all white. You know, Master used to have like oh, yeah, neon yeah. green and a whole yeah, CD yeah. packaging used to be like that. Oh, man. I don't even remember That's what that. attracted to me. You I was like, oh, Peter more. John's on here? LA Simpsons? Like, I'm buying this shit. You bought that shit? Yeah. Respect, bro. I think it was used. I, I, I worked it's at right. Z at the time. It's all right. But yeah. Bring back Arsenio. Who was doing that, bro? LA Symphony, man. LA I remember Symphony. we recorded that at Ahmad's house because we didn't have a, like a, oh, a readily available man. studio. Do, do I have to do it? And Ahmad did not know how to take that. I think Ahmad was just, because Ahmad went through his Christian yeah. phase too. Fourth and I, Avenue Jones. Yeah, and I think it, it was around that time when he first got Christian. You know, when you first get Christian, you're like real Christian. Like you go all in. And I think he was just like, he would laugh. But, like, he honestly did not understand what we were doing with that Arsenio shit. Like, he didn't know how to take it. He was just like, and then all he could say was like, yeah, y'all brothers is crazy, man. Yo, you guys is just crazy. But he was like, I could tell I in mean, his mind. You know what? I want to have a documentary or unsung on Ahmad. Dude. Or at least he has to write an autobiography. He probably, he probably He's will. He's so talented. Like, so talented. Well, it's the nigga roll back conk with Vi because the Vi keep me bonks. Gave it all I have just to have what I got. Niggas try to be mad. But they were bad, but they mad because they not. So I'm trying to think that you can defeat. 
I don't know, but like a Yo. quarterback and start a whack MCs with ease. These nuts, what you get and a busted lip is what you have when you come at we would bust the shit. Bought a jag chilling on the shot just to dip. Autograph living giving so I must have hit. Bought a jag chilling on the shot just to dip. Niggas, th- oh my god. Yo. I do the brushstroke clown while you drown in three feet. BB beating like robots on Buck Rogers plus I bust. 21st century rhyme, so you decline the battle. Any time has skills since I was nine. Dope lines, the only weapons that I caught. I stop what I fight clones because Biden's never condoned from the west side, Fourth Avenue, crew Joneses. Yeah. Man, bro. that dude. He can rap. Because like, you thought he was and soft, he can like, sing. Because you think everything. back in the day was it. Yeah. And then boom on come with it. Like he's on there Woo. with Safir and Rascast. And, and maybe. Who knows who was the best one on that? Yeah. And that and meaning no, that's how no, dope. Come he, on, bro. No, I'm Rat just saying. Cast. Okay, no, but I'm saying that I'm just saying like that's how dope he was. Like he was really dope. Now I have to do that verse, dude. Just because I mean you can if you want to. My for Rhyme and Magnum got 357 calories. Okay, we're done. Bust already. A You're sucker right. Mallard like Gallagher. Body right. Hennessy consists of Hennessy toxic. No, my body Hennessy body chemistry consists of Hennessy toxic melanin with an ad maintenium skeleton like Wolverine. Child, my heart pumps kerosene. Sun, I burn butane, burn any. Sun, I spin butane, burn any bastard you name till I die. Even when I'm maggots, I'm still be fly perpetrator. You're not the one. Your name's not Anthony Hardaway. I'm like a wolf of blood dripping down the fangs. My technique foul enough to shoot the flag with technical. Coming off the head, roughing and rip tech receptacles. Expect the exceptional syllables to be the next man in Bill McCourt. Loose distortion, rash cast losing niggas like abortion, sending niggas to hip-hop hell hawk. Eternal damnation through rider block. I rock over the result of Reeboks and Sands. Even when man wasn't pre- prehensile, I still find a way to grip mics. Hold my tip when I pip it, pick, pick, off, pick off pubic lice. See, I always been nice, but first brother slept, and I come back twice, like twice, to resurrect the West. Respect, bro. Look, he's kicking mics. <laughs> Okay, man. Hey, I'm uh, sorry, hey. man. I didn't even get the lyrics right. I'm sorry, Raz. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Ahmad is great. Ahmad was good too, bro. That was one of the best raps in the history of. It was on the Street Fighter soundtrack. <laughs> it was, bro. Of all places for that song to end up, bro, on the Street Fighter soundtrack, bro. <laughs> I fucked up the verse. Go back and listen. He was the first person. I geeked out because now this is Felipe. Right. F- I geeked out because he was. Yes, yeah, Safir was up. Safir, yeah. Some spit in my saliva is live. Spit jerseys. I'm like. Anyway, oh, Whew. you okay? Yeah, yeah man. Okay? But that was the first time someone said ad, ad even so he said he just said adamantium. But because we didn't know how to, we didn't yeah. know how to say adamantium because there was no movie. You would always read it and you would just but say he put that. that in a rap. That's dope. And I was like, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, body chemistry consists of Hennessy toxic. Did you hear? But did you hear? Um, a mom put a record out. I want to say like 2011 or 12. It was called All of Me. It was really good man no, like, i heard it was like a comeback like he left all the fourth all that shit behind and started just really rapping again and just fuck everything just go it was so good bro i used to do shows with him like he i was this hype man for a while but it wasn't just hype man like he he did this whole like like it was like a play like he he had his song it was dope yo we did it at fucking uh um uh, low in theory for respect low in theory um uh and bro, like we, I took went, I took him with me to Hawaii because I used to take, I used to always take people to Hawaii because I, I would go like every year, and we did that shit there too. And that album is fucking dope, and it was one of those that just got kind of slept on. Like, just put it out. It's called All of Me. You, I mean, you can fucking stream it and shit, but you should check that album out if you like a mind. Homework, yeah. You like think he homework. got respect? He, he got dope lyrics. Mark that, I, it was like, like a and comeback. he can sing, and he's, yeah, he's, he's singing all over it. Oh, he had brilliant. fucking Crooked Eye on that album. He had, uh, dude, it was dope. Crooked Eye is another one, man. Lyricist. Yeah, I mean, and I, I, I like slept on Crooked Eye for a long time because I, I thought it was like, oh, he's just like on some gangster shit or whatever. Like, but nah, nah. And then when he started, what was he doing? Like a one, a new song every week, like back in like the MySpace days and shit. I believe so. It was like, I felt like it was like every day. Like he was just dropping mad songs, like boom, boom, boom. And I was like, yo, this this motherfucker can rap. He's yeah, no, it was dope as man. fuck. If he's on Corrupt Streets as a Mother, that was epic, epic, yeah, epic. When I heard him, I was like spitting these rhymes written on Project Kitchen Tables. I was like, who? Because it's hard to be stand out as a lyricist on an album with Corrupt, on a song with Corrupt. Corrupt is amazing. Yeah, bro. so it was just like, when he stood out there, I was like, yo, who is this dude? Yeah. But, uh, man. But, you know, we were on skits, and I wanted to talk to my about my favorite skit. Of all time. It's on a song called NT. NT. On the Amplify album by Q-Tip. Yep. 
And I've met Q-Tip and I've met Busta Rhymes, but I haven't had the, the gumption to ask. But if you listen to the end of that song, yeah, like he goes, turn your engineer, turn the beat off, turn the beat off, and then you hear like Q-Tip going, <laughs> uh. and he goes, yo, yo, word the mother, a lot of these rap niggas is bitch, straight up, yo, come on, I'm sick of this shit. And come on, go. Ah, 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 ah. like, and, the the and then you hear him kick over to my. Yo, I'm shit. Yo, my nigga, you think you're here? Bah, 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 bah. You're all this shit. I'm like, yo, yo, when Busta Rhymes shit come out, yo, I swear to God. And I'm like, and then, and then, like, boo, 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 boo. And then, like, Busta, you hear the door slams. I don't know if he fucks somebody up or, like, you know, what's going on, bro? And then kids just go, ah, ah, just dying. Ah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. truly funny. That was truly, truly like, funny. Where is Instagram then, bro? I was like, bro, what was that moment? I was like, Bus Rhymes is way too big for somebody to be pushing his buttons like that. Because he's like, yo, for real? Like, I'm like, no, if he's talking somebody about somebody walking in the, the studio yeah, or something, like, you're like, yo, oh, a fuck. lot of these rap niggas is bitch. So he basically calls somebody a bitch without calling him a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so I was like, yo, like, this is, I always wanted to know, like, what, and to this day, when something's funny, I always laugh and I go, oh, that was truly, truly funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't like Q tip. And yo. it came on my Spotify the other day, and I thought about that. So what what is your favorite skit? Oh, man. Uh, uh, going back to De La, De La is Dead. Oh, De La Soul the, is the Dead. you didn't like their skits at uh, first. And no, your- yeah. No, I didn't. I was honest about that. But that is, to me, the greatest De La Soul album. And the skits, yeah, I mean, almost any De La skit to me is Prince incredible. Prince yeah. Incredible. Like, that first album was so fucking bizarre and weird shit. Like, uh... <laughs> Q-tip needs a haircut. Like, just what the <laughs> fuck? True Goy has the greatest haircut. Like, just so weird. But that, but that, that whole little like storyline of the skits throughout De La Soul is Dead is incredible to me. Like, you know, like oh, here comes that. Uh, what was his name? Uh, it was Chia Lee, right? Yeah. That was playing that the little kid, yeah. uh, Jeff. Yo, Jeff. Oh, yeah. shit, he playing you, Jeff. Oh, you let him call you Arsenio. That was my shit. Look, look Ooh, here. you let him call you Arsenio. It's, that's what. That's why I like bring back Arsenio. Look here, you little Arsenio Hulk gum, gum having, having punk. punk. Oh, you, you let him call you Arsenio. Arsenio. Yo. yo, Jeff. Yo, Jeff, he's fucking you up, Jeff. Yeah, he's playing you, Jeff. Don't let him he's playing you. That's when we invented the term studio beat now. Because like, psh, 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 yeah. psh, psh. That's what they literally did with their mouths. That was a black. That reminds me of the... From the first Black Sheep album, the skit where he's like trying to get in a cab. Yeah. Like, no, no, I don't you go uptown. me. Motherfucking uptown. <laughs> you motherfucking. And you just hear like he's just clapping yo, in the mic. Yeah. Yo, I didn't even. Until, I, until you swung on a cab driver, like you. Ne- I, I never knew that fucking frustration. Yeah. Like until I got to New York and motherfucker, like, where are you going? I got need to go to Harlem. No, 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 no. And they start pulling off and you're half in the cab and I'm like, yo. Damn, they're serious too. Yeah, like don't go to Uptown. Like, I know I need to go to Hundred. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take nah. the fucking take the subway, bro. <laughs> yeah. Take the first subway. First of all, <laughs> first of all, we ain't going we ain't up go- there. Oh, Second man. of all, you can take a motherfucking subway. You third. Can- oh man, when's the last time you had subway? <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> hey yo, it was super random, bro. We left your video shoot. And my wife was like, I, I was like, where do you want to eat? We were talking about going to different places, like going out and shit. She goes, you know what I really want? Just bring home Subway. And that's shocking because she is not that person. Wow. My son loves a little turkey sandwich, so he was all about it. Cheered him up. It helped him to stop crying, actually, from what you did to my son yesterday. I'm so, sorry about that, You know that, what I'm man. saying? You yeah, broke I his owe, heart, bro. I owe Jacob an apology. He just wanted to dress up and slide on a slip and slide. That's all he wanted to do. Slip and slide didn't make it out. Man. I know. I know. I told him that. No one did tell no one. I had to. I had to get no him. One will go on the slip and slide until Jacob goes on the slip. Respect, and slide. bro. I had to get him a subway sandwich and then walk across the parking lot into Burger King and buy him a vanilla shake to make up for the heartbreak that you gave to my son. Damn, I served it to him. You served it to him on a, on a cold, frozen, re- terrible platter. But he did have some excellent barbecue chicken. He did. He had some fun playing with your son. They got along good. But you know what? You know what he really wanted to do? He just wanted to dress up like a superhero like everybody else was. Oh, we can't even put this part in the video. Oh, I'll take it out. He dressed up like a Eureka Jeep like everyone else. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. What else? But I was thinking like earlier, you were talking about like, we were talking about like just being on tour and shit. Like, what are some other like 
maybe not fight moments, but like some standout tour moments for you that like. Bro, one of the funniest nights was. Oh, I got a good we one. We were on tour. Good Keep going. I believe it was Seattle, and it was the last time. It was a full Living Legends show. People think they've seen a full Living Legends show because I decided to show up with my punk ass, but no. It's like Arata. Arata, Arata. Arata was there. The last yeah, time, yeah. I that's my brother. The last time I performed, I might cry just thinking about him. Um, man, somebody, I probably was Aesop. <laughs> and you guys, as we know, and yeah. used, Eli is one of the most passive people in the group. Yeah. Super and, chill. Super chill. And maybe we should say this because it'd be a perfect bleed over into the Eli episodes. Okay. But, uh, because it's not. Put, as a, put a kick me sign on Eli's back I feel like I either I heard this story I couldn't have been there May I don't know you were in Seattle the but I remember box. I remember hearing this story so I'll show there. yo we were kicking the shit <laughs> <laughs> like so hard you guys were actually kicking Eli kicking with a shit. kick me sign on his back but bro wait, imagine this Yo, that's we got to bring that back with getting hit, punch in the chest. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah, punch yeah, you in your chest, yeah. and I'm gonna stick a cake me sign on you, yo. yo. And then we so, bring it back the hot foot. Eli's, after that. Eli's match, like Eli's like what? rapping to the crowd. He, the crowd doesn't know what he's going on, but they just either see us kicking him in the ass, or he's like, <laughs> he's, he's leaving. Both feet are leaving the ground with every kick from somebody oh, in the group. Like, who's yeah. on the ground? <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's like, what the fuck? So he turns around and yells at us. And the whole oh, audience sees the kick me kick. sign. Yo, oh, that's the fucking Bugs so Bunny, yo. That's like Bugs Bunny, <laughs> fucking. So when they all start laughing, he turns back around. He's like, what the fuck are you guys? Kick <laughs> start kicking him again, bro. Did Arata get a shot in there too? Probably. I don't even remember. Everybody oh. was kicking the, and not only is he the most passive, he's literally the smallest the guy in the group. In the group. He's tiny, so bro. he's doing it. It's, it's going back and forth, not just oh one time. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so then later, crazy. this is where I used to rap, wear um, pajama pants on stage all the time. Uh-huh. And then, so I remember I, that. So then I was mid stage in the middle of one of my raps. Aesop comes behind me and pantses me, but he pulls because with. Got two little two around bunches both the underwear too. Both of them. Damn. My draw, my dick is out. <laughs> Front <laughs> center and stage. I'm like center oh. monitor, wide stance. <laughs> oh my god. And then god, you know when your yeah. arms up, your t shirt's up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it was all it, it was Dick there. out. They was looking up your whole name and address, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I'm not taking no names. No, no names. No, fans. and they wasn't taking no shorts or pants either. Oh man, there will be no man, pants was, on this. That's, that was one of the classic. Oh my god, I remember one time. You know, John, in the beginning, like we were doing a show in like Orange County or something, and I don't remember exactly what he's doing, but he got so out of control. Uh, it was a college show. He, it was like I don't know if it was in their coffee shop or whatever, because it wasn't like a huge venue. I just remember this. He got so hyper. It was like some fucking Chris Farley shit, bro. He threw his body against the wall and he went right through the drywall. <laughs> Bow in the middle of the show, bro. Nobody knew what to do. We kept going. He still didn't stop. It got to the point. We have a picture of this somewhere. We don't have video, but we got a picture. We all had to physically tackle him. So there's a picture, like we tackled him, and and me and Flynn are sitting on top of him, rapping, like and holding him down, like you're done for the night, you are done, homeboy. Like I don't remember who tackled him, like but it was multiple people. Bow, put him down, and we just sat on him like this, and we're like, yo, about to die, to die, and then just rapping. There's a fucking hole in the ply wall, bro. Like I mean, in the you, you know the drywall. Like what do you do after that? The show's over, and like, hey man, so can we get paid, please? <laughs> like can you get paid? What the John, what the hell are you doing? Like, one, of, one of those, like, just you just on one of those, yeah, one of, these, one of those, yeah, bro. We used to, he used to always do that fucking pigeon yeah, arm yeah, yeah. all the time, and then we, it's kind of like the kick me sign, like, we, it became like a running joke. Like, every time we would go out to rap, we would just be behind him doing the fucking pigeon, like, turn around, and then he'd turn back around, start again. Oh, man. oh I remember this one time we were oh. on tour, I can't remember where we were at, but we were on this kick where, like, you know, we would bag on each other, and somehow, like, I, I call. I called Joey. I said, "Bitch, you look like a catfish." 
right? <laughs> so he started. We started calling him a catfish all the time, oh, right? Shit. So I, I don't know. There, there have been some time that went by where we didn't call him catfish, right? You know, a part show where you like stop and like introduce everybody, and everybody would have their turn. Like, all right, Uno, you're gonna introduce everybody tonight. All right, boo, you know, th- this was Flynn's turn. And for I, at the in these days, like we we would introduce kind of in the beginning of the show, right? And Joey was always one of the like more hyper dudes. Like he would be hype on the show and like blah 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 blah, right? And um, so we he introduces everybody, and he gets to Joey, and he's like, "Yo, man, it's my man Joey the Jerk, yo." But we call him the Catfish, and we call him Catfish, right? And, like, everybody's laughing. We're all laughing and shit. And, like, th- this motherfucker's demeanor just, like, like, it's like you stole the soul out of this dude, right? And we're like, dude, we call you catfish all the time. Like, why are you, what's wrong, right? Th- dude, he went, like, back in the corner. Like, he he stopped performing the whole show. And we did we did the names in the beginning, right? <laughs> so he would come out and he would rap, like, with a, just, like, a scowl on his face. And then we just go back in the corner and shit. And then, like, when the show finished, we're like, Joe, what the fuck's up with you, man? Why? That was a whack performance. What's wrong with you? Whatever. He's like, hey, yo, man, I can't believe you guys, man. Don't you ever fucking call me that again. And we're like, what, dude? We call that time. He's like, how dare you let, get on stage and call me a fat bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and they started dying up, like, what? Nobody called you a fat bitch. Why would we call you that? You and I think he was a little insecure. He's like chubby and shit. Like, no man, we called you catfish, man. That's what we been calling you. He's like, oh. And then he's like, I like a forty-five minute show, bro. How you call me fat bitch, man? He ruined the whole show. He ruined the whole show, bro. Because you. There's so many Joey antics, bro. I remember one time Joey ripped his pants at the beginning of the show, and the whole rest of the show he just sat on the stage because his whole shit was out in the back. Like the whole shit was just gone, bro. Uh, the uh, one of the we, the last time we toured with the legends, we were up in uh, I think it was Oregon somewhere, one of those shows, and it was like it was like uh, whatever the venue was, it looked kind of like a, a like just like a high school auditorium, but it was much bigger. And my man tried to do what do you call it, like those base jumps where you just stand in place and jump? Yeah. This motherfucker during sound check said, "Oh, I got this, I got this." We're like, "Joe, please don't do it. You don't got this." You don't No no I got this Tries to like stand Oh vert jump Yeah vertical yeah. Vertical jump Yeah he tried I mean the fucking stage is high bro We, we I all know, this know. Th- Is it Wild Hall Eugene Oregon I think, it's, I think it might I've, be I've done that I one I mean that's you a, were there That's a high one You were I there I was not there But it's okay No 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 you were there I swear to god you were there Cause I have another story That I can't tell on the podcast And you were there I promise So he does the jump And of course he, he gets Like his tippy toes hit And he's like Trying to use all his core and everything to hold him up. He's like, oh. bam, right down on his shin. His shin split like, whoosh, like wide open. I ha- I had to throw him in the fucking, uh, throw him in the van and go find an emergency room. This motherfucker got like twenty stitches in his shin during sound check. And again, he had to chill and do the set all calm and shit with a fucking big ass bandage and like he was. Dude, it looks so nasty. It was like practically to the bone. That shit just split. Blah. It just split. Boom. I was standing right there. I watched the whole thing. We're like, damn, Joey, what the fuck's wrong with you? He's like, oh, man, I don't got no money for this. He's all stressed. So that's Joey the Jerk, man. I have a catfish. A similar story. Yeah. So we were in. And you were there that night. I promise you. You were on that tour. We're going to find out. There was tours you weren't on. We were 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 in Sydney, Australia. And this is the, on the inside of the Murray's Revenge CD. If you look, lift it up, I have a huge bump on my head. Oh, shit. And I was in Sydney, Australia, and uh, we were doing a New Year's show. I had my boy Lucky with me. And uh, the stage is kind of high. Lucky's tall guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know what I was thinking or what I think half <laughs> the time. But, yo, I went to go. I, I don't know if I went to jump and fart on him or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, and there's a we didn't tell the fart story on this one huh? nah I'm about not. Sunspot's house oh did you, you did told we, that story I okay, think okay okay no you didn't tell on the podcast okay, okay so we got so that's a good one too that, that one needs to be told me that. and Lucky farting on each other farting of respect as guys do but we you know horse playing horse play yeah so horse course. play so I went to off the stage I was like oh, I'm gonna jump on this motherfucker's shoulders and just let it rip around his neck. No, no, I wasn't trying for it. I was just trying to jump on his shoulders, like and, like and kick him. Legs over. No, not legs over. Like putting both feet. Cause I can jump. Oh high. right. If you right. see me on stage, like I can jump pretty yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna jump both feet high, knees to chest, and then like land on, on his, his shoulders. shoulders. 
Okay. And then run to the bar on like the other side. Like bounce off of him. I don't know just, what yeah, I was yeah, yeah. thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got way up high because the stage was already high. I got way yeah, yeah. up high. And then he moved and I was like, oh, shit. Woo. So I tried to land on the edge of the bar that we, he was next to. Slipped like Joey, but my my shins or my shins didn't split. But when I my toe slipped off, uh-huh. head first Ooh. into the bar, into the corner of the bar, Ooh. bow, and I put my I remember grabbed my head like oh, and then it literally like the cartoons like pushed my hand up. Oh, like you can't really tell the depth of it on the thing. Ooh. I had to go get like a cat scan and like damn. But the beauty of things like free healthcare was seventy five dollars. Cat scan, emergency room visit. Was back getting drunk that night. I think I that's did some tight, bro. Ills made out with somebody from the crowd. It was a crack. I love it. I love that. Bro. But yeah, did I did I ever tell you that jumping? The, never jump. Don't jump around and fuck around at sound check. Uh, that's like that's yeah. like that's like tearing your ACL and and the and like you're do it do it during warm-ups. the show, bro. Yeah, and warm up for the crowd. Like yeah. save it for the crowd, man. Why are we talking you? about practice? Practice. Are we talking about practice? Right like now? It's not like you're right, but you're not, it's not even like practice. Is like a day. Like that's like hurting yourself on an off day. Yeah, yeah. Hurting yourself a sound check is like you're doing layups in the middle of the thing, and you want to be the motherfucker to do like three sixty windmills and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, dog. and then you right. twist your ankle coming down from a crazy ass dunk that and you then you missed. out for like three games. Yeah. Come on, dog. What are you doing, man? That's, that's what I did skateboarding. And taking me breaking my leg and then not be missing tours and shit, bro. Yeah, that's why I quit skating. Yeah, me too. After that, I was like, you know, I gotta, I got I love it. I love it, but I gotta stop. Stop. It's fucking my career up, man. Yeah. Like big time. You were probably doing cool shit. I was skating a hip, like a little, like, like a little driveway that had a hip in it, like two like and you broke your leg? No, I just rolled my ankle on. Uh, I, could, I had to cancel a Japanese tour. Yeah, I broke my leg on a nine foot half pipe. Too. See? That's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's no, cool. the second time I broke this one on that one. I broke this one, and that's when I had to really let it go. Um, I was trying. L I G, L I G. See, it's a thing, bro. It's a thing. Shout out to Ice Cube, man. What's up? You know, you know. Get your people. Call my people, Ice Cube. I got you on the L I G. Don't even trip, Don't even trip. Yeah. I had another story, another tour story. Oh, uh, the first time we went to Europe. As as I, I guess I might be there right now. Uno Mas almost died. What? So we went and... Uh, Do I need to hear this before I No, many through? things happened on this tour. We, we lost a lot of money on this tour. I don't Flynn, like... Okay, Flynn don't chipped his tooth. Oh, wow. Uh, Uno almost died. We had to send him back on a plane because he got hella sick. But this is what happened. So we... He... Um, everybody got sick. It's like new germs. Like you hit the, you hit the thing, everybody's getting sick and whatever. Um... But what Uno didn't know is he needed to get his gallbladder removed. And he didn't know that. So then that mixed with, like, getting real sick on tour triggered some crazy shit. And he, he there was a certain point. He came out. We were in Amsterdam. And he came out of his room in the morning. We were going to get on the plane to go to England. And um, he couldn't even barely walk. I just remember him coming up to me and, like, leaning on me. And, like, he couldn't even. His voice didn't even work. He's like, good, can you get me a Sprite? I think I'm going to throw up. I need a Sprite. So I just, you know, dip out, find a soda machine, get him a Sprite. We had to stop like four times on the way to the to the airport. Just fucking yakking, blah, blah, blah. So we get, to, um, we get to England. We land, right? We're doing this whole tour with no work permits. Like, fuck it. We're just going. Like, whatever. So in England, we're like, uh, we're, this dude's about to die. He's feeling terrible. We go, uh, hey, man, we got to, you know, you have to fill out those little cards. Why are you in the country? So we're like, okay, dude, we're on, we're on a vacation, man. Just some bros, man, hanging out, going to Europe. Yeah, you know, that's what we're doing, right? Make sure you guys write that shit down. Like, so they write your occupation, this and that and the other. Um, and uh, so I'm ready. I'm ready to just get in England. No problem. So everybody's waiting in line. Uno gets to go through first. Thank God. He was dying. They just let him through. He went, I don't even know where he was at. He went through customs. He was gone. I go up to my lady. Hey, what are you guys in the country for? What are you coming to England for? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm just me and the bros, man. We're traveling, having fun, this and that. Oh, and by the way, Flynn, Flynn was ahead of everybody. He at, Right before we go up to the thing, Flynn turns around and goes, Now, remember, guys, we're here on vacation. Don't, don't mess it up. We're here on vacation. We're like, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. I go to my guy. My girl, Flynn goes to her, his girl, right? I see Flynn over there talking to him. You know, they ask you all the questions, right? So I'm like, yeah, she's about to stamp my passport and let me through. Here comes Flynn's girl with a paper in her hand. You know what that paper was? Our whole motherfucking itinerary and tour schedule. And I look at Flynn. I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, 
he's she's like yeah this guy says they're just here to, to travel he goes my guy says they're here to do shows and he, he gave him the he's the one who just told us what was he thinking he just got I, I think he just got nervous or something oh i know what it was because he wrote down something about being a musician or a writer as his occupation we all wrote down fake shit like subway we work at subway or like whatever he wrote down like writer musician or some shit like that so they started questioning him like Musician. Oh, he cracked. Yeah, so he cracked okay, under he pressure. Just, he didn't disappoint. He didn't like. No, he cracked under pressure. Okay, he didn't but just lose I was, the plan. I was lying my ass off at the same exact time that he's just spilling his guts. Oh. So I look like a, an asshole. To, I mean, she if if that look could have killed, I would have died on the spot. She brings that paper, and that my lady looks at the paper, looks at me, and I'm like, oh yeah, well yeah, we're here to travel, but yeah, like we're gonna oh. do some shows too. Like oh. it was like. The most fucked up shit, bro. They scooped us all up and threw us in a in a room, and they were like this close to just kicking us out of the country. They were gonna kick us straight back to the United States, and it was like the beginning of our tour, bro. We were supposed to be there for a whole month, and everybody was so what the Flynn, what the fuck, man? What's wrong with you, man? He's like, I don't. I mean, he just start asking me oh, questions. I'm like, did you have to take out the paper that like has our whole? And then the guy that was like picking us up from the airport was from England. But he spent a great deal of time in America, so he didn't have a, a British accent. So we we didn't even know his last name. We just knew his name was Joel. Call Joel. He's our guy. So he answers the phone. He's like, "Hello, how are you?" Like no British accent at all. Like, "Oh, you motherfuckers are bullshitting!" Right? They were screaming at us in this room. That some manager guy comes. He's like, "Yo, how dare you come to our contract?" And we're like, "What do we do?" And like, I don't know why, but at the very last minute, he's like, "Just." Stamp their passports and kick them out of here. And we're like, we're in there for like an hour. Meanwhile, remember, Uno Mas is fucking dying. He just found like a bench and he's just like laying on it. Oh Big ass God. Uno just laying like, oh, oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Bro, it, it only got worse, bro. It only got worse. Um, we eventually had to send him home. We had, he, we had to put him on a flight. We're like, he couldn't even walk. We're like, dude, you can't walk. You can't do these shows. We had to shout out like, I don't know, like fourteen hundred bucks to send him home. It was just crazy, man. But like, that's uh, that, that, yeah, that was our yeah. first European experience. We got stiffed. Yeah, my first European experience was. But when I get sweaty at the board, I'm always like, you "Just play it cool, man." Or you, or or I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, "What's the word? what are you gonna do?" Because I know I'm black. I'm like, "You don't want to keep me. What are you gonna do? Send me back to my country? Yeah, great. You send me back to L.A. Great. Yeah, I'm, go ahead." Right not now. me. I did not want to go back. Oh, yeah. We didn't. We spent a lot of money up I, front. Yeah, I, yeah. I needed to collect those checks, bro. Yeah, I'm I tell, to I'll get take it. the L, man. Like I'm not. Like I'll, I'll tell a quick, motherfucker. Like all this yelling, like don't do it. If you come close <laughs> to me, I, I tell one of the custom made. Yeah, I'll tell this story. So I'm about to go to yeah, Canada yeah. in a minute. We get to fucking Saskatoon. Oh yeah! Supposed Shout out to, to Saskatoon. We're supposed to perform <laughs> with. <laughs> um. Scare me and, and Lucky. Uh-huh. Lucky has been up there before. He's inducted into some tribe up there. So we say, like, I start story. Respect. Why yeah. do you have these CDs? We're getting, um, we're, we're trading. He's going to go meet his tribe. The tribe, we want some jewelry. You had some legit, yeah, you yeah, had a legit we, thing They to don't say. accept money for their jewelry. It has to be exchanged for gifts. So I'm giving these CDs, you know. Nice, My nice. rap career is not really panning out. I have these extra CDs. We're just coming up here to visit his tribe. My homie's getting inducted into a tribe. It's good. It's a good story. Thing. Good story. And he had he had proof that he was getting inducted into the tribe and everything. Yep. And then we're like, well, when we get off, let's split up. So it's me, Kirby Dominant. Uh, Damn, Kirby was Kirby, there. Kirby, shout out. Scarab and and Lucky. So we all like stagger each other in line. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. to the front. He goes, Living Legends. Ah, uh, you recognize you, bro. Like when you did when people when they could like now they'll look up your whole Facebook. Like, oh yeah, they'll have it waiting for you. They'll be on you, yeah. bro. You so can't it's like even fuck around. Living legends. I was like, oh shit, like, chill, bro, chill. I'm like, what <laughs> chill, do you mean, bro? I'm like, yeah, that's over, man. Like we didn't really make it, you know? Like, we didn't make it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's over, bro. Yeah, like, we didn't make it, yo. <laughs> When I told you, like, being in L.A. and also being a black dude, like, yeah, like you yeah. learn temperament. So I was like, cool. So they're like, step over here. So they get my, this your back? Yeah, this your back? So why do you yeah. have all the CDs? Like, oh, blah, blah. I was like, okay, so you don't rap anymore? No. They pulled out my, that's when you had a rhyme book. They pulled out my rhyme book. Yeah, This yeah. nigga started reading my rhymes aloud. <laughs> I, I tears started welling. I wanted to sock cousin his face so bad. I was like. Damn, bro, why are you blowing it? You're a fan? You say you're, you're acting like a fan, bro? He was just reading this. He was reading. I wanted to hit him so bad. He was like reading my lyrics out loud, like. 
So I went oh, to the man. store to get some more. And like loud, like in the whole airport. And I'm like, okay, go ahead. He just want to embarrass me. We'll see. And we're like, whatever. We get to the thing. Do the show. It's in the in the center of town, small town. Yeah, they have yeah. like that, like that tarp, those chain link fence. They put the black tarp on. So if you're yeah, yeah. outside, you can't see. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, show. yeah, 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 yeah. Hip hop show. We get up there, do our set. Getting off the stage. They're like, Customs is here. I'm like, what do you mean? What? And I'm standing at the edge of the stage and I'm like, oh shit. I see them over there. They're like, they want to see you now. I was like, I'm going to sign a couple autographs. And then I'll be over there when I'll I'm be, over I'll there. Get there. I'll when be there when there. I'm there. <laughs> Start signing shit. I look up. This nigga Scarab hopped the fence and is running. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. I'm out of this. <laughs> Yo. Don't see Lucky anywhere. He's gone. They left you. So I walked. I was like, all right, niggas ran on me. Good. Like, whatever. Like, they were like, you were supposed to I, run. I, 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 you I, I, were I, supposed I'll keep to it in G from, from, from jump. So I walk right up to him. And he did the thing. He like, in my chest, was like, so you said you weren't doing a show. I grabbed the nigga wrist. I said, cuz. I was like, if you ever touch me again, I will fucking Woo. kill you. And how did he react? He was like, what? Well, uh, you didn't know. Like, cause I'm just here like, for the show. I'm just here like, for the show. And he like went like that. And I was like, what's up? I was like, I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I was like, did you see money exchange hands? No. I said, did you see? No. But I know you. I said, shut the fuck up. I was like, Damn. fuck your piece of shit country. I was like, you guys don't even have a fucking army. I was like, I hope George Bush bombed you motherfuckers oh, back shit. to the Stone Age. He was talking you. reckless like Yo, that, bro. They were on filming the a whole Canadian shit. And I was like, show. fuck you. I was like, you can't take me to jail for shit. If you touch me again, I'm fucking you up. Damn. I, was like, I knew it with the yo. LAPD. I was like, you think I'm scared of you, punk ass motherfucker? I was, I was gone. I was, like, I was like, this is not even sanctioned. I was like, are you on your day off, bitch? I was like, so what did he say after that? Do you have something to he say? Said, Come on, we're gone. They left. He, oh, said, he, had, a, he had a little team with yeah, him. Yeah, because the people that, they had caught Scarab and brought him back and like. Oh, they was trying to get y'all. Like they, yeah, they hemmed him up. I was like, you're not touching me, bro. If you touch me again, I'm knocking your ass out. I do not give a fuck. Like we're gonna fight like men up in this bitch. Damn. And I was like, I was like, yo, he's like, I'll see you. Oh, he's like, I'll see you tomorrow. And if you have any Canadian cash on you more than you came with, then I'm taking it from you. I was like, well, you just have to see me in the morning. I was like, I like this. You know, at the airport, I'm not gonna fuck with you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I'm like I said in the yeah, airport. Yeah, in the yeah, airport, yeah, yeah. I let him fuck with me heavy. But yeah, I was already carrying to, that yo. shit from the night before. I was like, oh, you yeah, want to read yeah. my rhymes? On it? And now we're out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, and the fans came people, around too, yeah. and they were like, Leave him alone. Leave yeah, yeah. him alone. You guys are always ruining What's this real hip hop. Yeah. What's this about? <laughs> Turn around. Lucky. Camped out under the stage. Like, no. Nah, Mud I, all on his LRGs. I ain't fucking with that. I ain't fucking with that, yo. I was like, he was like, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Like, bro. Once again, Merce left out there, yo, to out. do it. You always got to do it yourself, huh? I was out there, bro. I was like, man, why you do that? Like, bro, every time after that shit happened in England, yo, they always, like, if we we were driving into Canada and shit, like, it was like a cook, man, you got, you going to have to handle this, bro. Like, it was always put on me after that. I remember we was, we was going through Canada. We were coming up through Montana to go to Saskatoon. And we were, it was like, probably like two in the morning. Joey was driving. I was dead asleep. He pulls off like a half a mile before the border. He's like, yo, Cook, you're going to have to drive, man. I can't do this. Like, everyone was scared to talk to customs. Was like, fine, I'll do it. I mean, it was, it was so easy. I just pull up. Hey, what do you got? Oh, yeah, we're a band. Uh, uh, we have the day off, so we're just going up to hang out with some friends in Saskatoon. All right. Wow, that must be an easy border. It was. I was like. Every Which time, there's about, never been what? a time that I have not been at least four hours at the Canadian board. I've nah. been to Canada over But it, maybe times. it was because it was two in the morning, too. It was like hella we, late. We, oh, no. we went to, they've kept us to sunrise. Oh, man, like, that I, sounds terrible. We, we could have a whole episode. That's just one of my Canadians. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. do a whole episode on me getting into Canada. That shit on the Warp Tour, on the fucking... On my end of the beginning tour, man, that's weird. I have all Aesop Rock good tour, Def Jux Battle of the Robots, like three sixteen tour, like every tour, they fuck with you. Never fails, bro. I've had like fake guns in the car, like it's it's been crazy, man. And always, always the white people on tour are the most with felonies that can't get into Canada. It's never, never fails. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's tour a lot of managers people. are like, ah, I can't do it. Yeah, I, I've I've experienced that too. Where they like, we're gonna stay in Montana, have a good time. We'll yeah. see you guys in like three days. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, and all I'm right, like, peace. man, this is not even a place. Like, I don't. I'm not like. I'm so American to the core. Like, I don't need to, to go anywhere ever. You're like, whatever. Like, you know, the place I enjoy going most is, is except for Australia, is Japan. 
Yeah. And they never fuck with me in Japan, not going with. Like, they never. I never made it to Japan, man, but I definitely, I went to South Korea. You ever been there? No. That shit was fire, bro. I need to go to. I felt I like know. the Beatles. I, I, I never, I never understood, like, the way, the how that shit feels like security and like, man, I got it. You really need all the fucking security guard? Come on, dog. Or like, whatever. Until that moment, we played two nights in a in a soccer stadium in uh, Puchon, like right out of Seoul, Korea, South Korea, and there was fucking like eight thousand people there, and we got off stage, and they didn't even care that like some people knew about us, but most of them didn't even know just the fact that we were American and we were hip hop, we were fucking gods, bro. We got off stage, and at least a thousand of those people bum rushed us. And I've never felt it. Like, I was like, this is fucking some NSYNC shit right here. Like, this is fucking Beatles, Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, Justin Bieber. Sergeant Pepper's is, Lonely Hearts Club this Band. This is Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band right now. And I remember, like, there's, it felt very intimidating, bro. They just, wah, they're all in our face. Ah, ah. There was, like, like grown men, like, this close to us, just screaming at the top of their lungs. Ah! Ah, ah, like that. Like, Did the they love fuck? Jesus too? I don't know, man, but they loved us. They one of these dudes grabbed my man Sherlock Holmes, also from Long Beach. Don't get it twisted. Pulled him close and Sareem, kissed him. Isn't it Sareem? It's Sareem now don't because disrespect. he's on some other. Don't hey, but back then he was Sherlock like Holmes. I don't disrespect him. I'm telling a story about Sherlock Holmes. Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali grabbed him, kissed him on his face. And he said, hey, what you doing? You just threw him off. He's like, oh, oh, sorry. I remember, like, standing up taller to look around and see who, where's security? Like, who is taking care of us right <laughs> now, bro? Who is me? taking care of us, Because I'm about to start dealing out these Mrs. Soto. It's about to. I've, I've been trained well, bro. <laughs> my, mom, my mom is the only undefeated one on these streets, bro. We might have to handle some South Koreans. But I just remember, like, damn, yo, this is fucking... Chicks Beatles. crying. People were crying. I'm like, oh, we just ra- like. I wish they did this to us in America. They ain't fucking us with us like this yeah, in America. Was in Japan, oh, bro. Like, yeah. was, I don't even know if kids are having those experiences now. Like, because rap is so. Yeah, it's not. Well, I'm sure they it's are, everywhere. Bro. But yeah, this was a rap. He- this is a rap heavy yeah, episode. Rap story bro. tour heavy episode. Tour tour episode. Tour episode. Yeah, we could do these after 22 years. Merce Day is going to be happy with this episode. Oh, I thought you were talking about, yeah, that was the worst tour I ever did in my life. Oh, the, the Merz Day the one? The Merz Day tour. Oh, really? <laughs> that, I'll just sum that up. That whole tour was like 40s, 50-something days. Uh-huh. I flew out on one day to come back to L.A. to play Flognaw and uh-huh. fly back. I made one more money in that one day than I did on two months oh, on the shit. whole tour. That sounds terrible. Yo, the worst. Well, but, yeah. I'll sum it up like this. Our first European tour, the one I was telling you about, we came back fourteen thousand dollars in debt. Okay, no. <laughs> Do I win? <laughs> I think. Yeah, well, you guys have a group. I once lost eighty six hundred dollars in cash in an envelope, left it backstage. Ooh, that's a that was like a very nice Honda Civic for somebody, Ooh. like a used two year old Honda Civic with fifty thousand miles on it. Ooh. Somebody found that. Can you imagine who found? Eighty six hundred. I'll be happy. I, I found, cried. I one, wanted to kill myself. One I was time, I, kill hey, myself. Yo, one time I was having a bad day, bro. A real bad day. I was a little depressed. I went for a jog, Santa Monica Pier. I, jo- I jogged. There was all these people, you know, walking up and down the pier, like up that ramp part. I was jogging down. Out of nowhere, I looked down, man, and there was a wad of twenties on the ground. And at that moment, I looked around, and all of a sudden, everybody around me was gone. There was nobody there. Just me in the twenties. I picked it up. I counted. It was $120. And I kept looking around. I said, somebody's got to want this money. This can't be true. Right. Looking around. Remember, I was depressed, bro. And I said, what is happening right now, man? Nobody was there. I put it in my pocket, and I kept running. I had a much better day after that. I'm going to tell you that. And that was. And you've been jogging. Is this why you jog? You're still looking for I'm more looking money. Looking for more, bro. You're like, I'm never stopping I jogging. Coming, I know it's the coming, birth bro. of jogger man, that right there. It. That was, the, and that day I knew that I had a new calling on my life. And I know I'm not taking no names, but that day I took a name. That name was Jogger. If you don't follow Cookbook, the PR on Instagram, follow, you see the adventures of Jogger Man. I don't know why. They all look like the same fucking map. 
They all look like he's doing the same thing. Who knows if he's really jolly? If you want to see a sweaty ass um, Mexican, oh Puerto Rican, whatever. Puerto Rexican. Puerto Rexican. No, those are my kids. They're Puerto Rexican. Jo- jogging and sweating on his Bluetooth, telling you. Do you say inspirational thing? I don't even know what you say. I do. I just start Once skipping those things. I need to. I need to start getting back to my inspiration too. I haven't been doing that. I think it's just fucking with you, man. Got me all gully now, man. And I. I, I I've been down the street level. I haven't man. been. I haven't. Yeah, I've been kind of. I, I, I think I backtracked a little bit. Maybe I need to get inspiration again. But you know, that's the birth of Jogger, man. What can you say, man? Jogger brother man. Jogger? That's the birth of Jogger. Oh, the man, birth bro. of Jogger. We got a Jogger Man. And you know what? After, after Jogger Man Zero, issue Jogger Zero. Man Zero, bro. And I think it had like a, you know, embossed cover Ooh. for $120. You know that after that episode with Jogger Man, I got a lot of fools hitting me up suggesting how I can jog more hip hop now. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of the suggestions? Uh, what was it, man? I, fuck, what was it? I, now I can't remember. So you didn't even take the tips. Motherfuckers over here trying to save your life. They put you on the there, new there wave. Was a, there was a new, some shoes I, I needed to jog in. What was, fuck, what was it? It, was, it made me laugh, though. I was like, hey, man, those are good ideas, man. May all try it. Yeah, right. I, I don't remember. You're not trying. I'm you not going to try it, man. You don't I'm, take the mechanics seriously. They're trying I to take tune, the mechanics seriously. Mechanics seriously. are trying to tune you up, and you don't want to nah, listen, bro. bro. I take the mechanics seriously, but I take jogging seriously, and I don't want to fucking run into some crazy shit. Are you going to be a jogger, or are you going to be a mechanic, bro? What you I'm mean? both, homeboy. I'm a mechanic who jogs. <laughs> so that's it. I run these streets. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.